Today, I'm gonna to show you how to rig a spear gun. You're gonna need a pair of crimping pliers, monofilament, at least two crimps, a lighter, and something to cut the monofilament with. So the first thing we're gonna do is unwrap our monofilament and get it all stretched out. Make sure that there's no knots in it, no kinks. Okay. So for this first step, you can either take the shaft out of the gun or leave it in. I prefer to leave it in. And so what we're gonna do is bring the monofilament underneath the bands and down the gun. So we are gonna take one of our crimping sleeves and slide it down. Just like that. So at this point, you wanna figure out what side of the gun your line release is on. For an open muzzle gun, you wanna make sure that the mono is coming out of the opposite side of the sleeve of the line release. So the line release is on our right, so we want the monofilament to come out on the left side of the shaft. So we are gonna rig it through the first shark fin hole. So we will slide that through, and then we will go ahead and put the tag in through the other side of the crimp. So you can see the mono is running up the side of the shaft opposite of the line release, and I'll explain more about this once we get this crimped down. So, at this point, you wanna take your lighter, and we're gonna lightly burn the end of the mono, and then cap it. What that is gonna do is create a mushroom effect on the top, and once this cools down, we will slide it down to the top of the crimp, and that helps hold the crimp into place. So now we wanna make sure that our loop is the right size. You do not want the loop to cross over the front, the next shark fin. This can create problems when going to load it and cause tangles. So we wanna bring it back to where it does not interfere with the next shark fin, but it can move freely like this on the shark fin that is looped through. So we will tighten this down just a little bit more. And at this point, we're ready to crimp. So this is gonna be a 1.6 millimeter crimp. On the crimping tool here, you can see we have different thicknesses. So we're gonna use the one to 2.0 first. So you wanna make sure when you go to crimp that you do not crimp at the end. You wanna leave a little space at the end of it so that way the end of the crimp does not pinch down on the mono. And we're gonna tighten one. And then same thing for the bottom. We're gonna make sure that the crimp is not pinching down on the mono and tighten again. So right now we have the mono secured to the shaft. So this time to rig the gun, we're gonna use a muzzle bungee. So we're gonna wrap the gun at this point, go underneath the line guide, and then down the little incision on the muzzle. We're gonna go all the way down to the line release and then back up towards the muzzle. So if you want to do a double wrap, you're going to go over the line anchor and then back down the line release and back up. But for this video, we're just going to do a single wrap. So we have a lot of excess mono here. And I am just going to go ahead and cut some of this excess to make our lives a little bit easier. Like that. So now we're gonna run our crimp over our mono and run the tag end of the mono through the loop in the muzzle bungee. Okay, so here we will run the tag end of the mono through the crimp like that and then slide the crimp up to leave a loop about that size. Now to tighten down the mono to create a little bit of tension, 
on the muzzle bungee, the tag end of your mono says give it a pull. And you can continue to slide the crimp down to create space. And so at this point, we have a little bit of tension, which will keep the line tight on the mono. So we are ready to make our final crimp. So again, we're gonna use the 1.0 to 2.0 because we have a 1.6 millimeter crimp here. Making sure not to pinch it at the top or the bottom. Go one. And we will go two. So now that that is crimped, we will go ahead and cut our excess by bringing this up and just giving it a cut as close as possible. So just to highlight, you wanna make sure that the mono is running up the left, the side opposite of the line release. And the reason is for that is because you wanna go down the, on the line anchor, down the side that's opposite the line release to keep everything nice and straight and not crossing the shaft. And the same thing on the back, you can see the line goes straight down from the muzzle all the way down to the line release down here without crossing the shaft or the barrel, keeping everything in one nice, neat, straight line and preventing tangles when you go to fire the gun. So at this point, you're pretty much ready to roll. Um, if you are to rig a spear gun with the reel, basically you would follow the same steps, but instead of rigging it to a muzzle bungee, your reel line would just go all the way up to the anchor and then come out down through here and basically become your muzzle bungee. Um, but at this point, you're ready to roll. Your spear gun's rigged up and ready to fire.